Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Piyush Agarwal, and today, like, uh, this is the second part of the video for this playlist. And in this video, I am going to show you how to access different files from Jisoo. Okay, so without wasting our time, I will be sharing my screen. So let's go back to UI part. So this is the the uh, studio process that we created in the last video. We had set up our G Suite application scope with client ID and client secret. You must have created your own, and now it's time to use them to access the files. So for this particular video, I have created like two sets of files. So, like for first one, let's say I just want to access any particular file, like pyk2309.txt from file set one. So to access any file, we just go over here. Go to Drive, and there is an activity: Find Files and Folders. This particular activity will find us any file present on Drive using its name. So, like over here, I will write pykin two three zero nine dot txt. That is the exact name given over here. And let me create the feeling lucky one. That is the object ID. Object ID is what we use to access any file. So maybe I have already created one. Yeah. So and result. Result is the set of objects. Object ID is a string variable that is used to access the file. You can think of it as a name for the file. Okay. Now result. If I just create this one check. Result is an array of objects of that uh, particular file type. Now if I just use message box. And write file ID plus object ID. So this will give me the uh, file ID of value, and I want to reconfirm whether this is proper or not. So check zero dot name. Okay, by zero I mean uh, check is an array. I want to access the first element of that array. And get the name of that particular file. Now let's run this. <clears throat> so now the bot has started it uh, through the API call. It got me the object ID of the file, and this is the name that we are accessing. That is proper. Okay, so that is one way to access single file. Now, what if I want to access all these files? There is something one uh, like uh, there could be a situation someone asks you. Okay, I have this folder on G Suite. Access all the files with this particular name in that. Like I have got pykit in all the files returned, so I want to access that. So let's do that. It's uh, also not so big deal. So we just say name that contains pykit. That's what a human would think, right? And similarly, bot thinks the same way. Now, since we have got multiple files to check. We are going to use a loop for each item in check, and over here, the, the default type argument is always object. But the check is a kind of like Google Drive API file. So for that, the data type is Google dot API dot Drive dot version three dot data file. Okay, and this one is the data type of check. That is the result result of this particular file. Now. In this, we just drag our activity, and over here, I will write item. So, right now, object ID variable is just pointing to the best that it got. So, it is not uh, useful for us. What we can do instead of object ID, we will use item dot ID. Now, again, debug. So bot has started. It got me the first file, the second file, and see every file has its own ID, own object ID, using which we can access them further in our bots. Now, so this was one scenario for file set one that you got to know. Now, I have got file set two. I don't know what are the names. I just want to access all the files. What I can do for that? Okay, so for that, what we do? Basically, this is a real-time situation. Like generally, what if I say that you want to send some attachments present in a particular folder? How will you do that? 
okay so first uh, what we are going to do first we will get the id of this particular folder file set to and using that we will access all these files so in the first let's say instead of name contains i use that name is equals to file set 2 okay that is same now it will return me an object id and over here first let's say for check i okay i found your object id that is object id now this is the main string of this particular scenario so that is a single quote let me do it properly so you can see. i will just open advanced editor so you can see it properly double quotes now a single quote and again double quote plus now over here let's say object id <clears throat> so this is the object id of this particular folder or what we can do for clarification instead of object id yes let's use folder id so this is also just a string variable that i have already created over here as you can see now coming back to this okay a single quote double quote plus folder id then again double quote and a single quote and folder id in or i guess it should be in parents and one condition that folder id should be a parent folder and name contains anything okay so let's save it so again over here i am saving the outcome of this in the check check will be a result of all the files and this is going to give me the all the files names so let's test it how it goes and basically this find files and folders is just a kind of okay it didn't find my object id so it will not run further also so maybe i did some mistake over here giving the name <clears throat> let's check so this is file set 2 okay let's try removing the name the space from between find files folder id okay okay instead of object id over here we are using folder id and from here also i will remove this space might be some kind of an issue okay so let me just debug it again so i did got the object id of the folder now this time it gave me again the file id which one it is running file id is this and this is the file name yeah so let's say this one file jkf this something is present over here then a is also present over here we have got a dot doc a dot pdf a dot txt comment on my channel subscribe also okay so this was a way we can use and leverage these activities to get access of any files now to access this particular each type of file we have got over here in g suit different kind of more features like if i want to access the doc file i will use this docs feature if i want to use the uh, sheets excel files i will use all these features if i want to use app script so for that i have this particular files so uh, we will, i will be going through these more features and one more thing that you can go through for yourself for more advanced features that this is a particular query given by google api docs only so for that go to browser just search google api search queries uh, let's say not this google cloud 
okay i'm not getting this i had to find it earlier let me check over here yeah this doc so google drive api rf search terms okay search query terms basically so over here you can find that there are different kind of queries provided it can, you can use contains equals to not equals to a logical operator if you want to run multiple you want that multiple situations should be true and in similar way there is name then it shows that which operators works with which term okay <clears throat> so in diff, in this using this docs you would be able to know more about these features you can use like parents who is the latest modifier of the particular file there are so many things so many properties that you can utilize so this that's all for this video guys hope to see you in the next video do like share comment and subscribe to my channel see you